Good Sunday evening, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, down here in the lower left-hand corner of your screen. I'm meteorologist Austin Onig. This is our late evening edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. Thanks for joining us on a very quiet Sunday evening in the Mid-South area. Current information right here, forecast for tonight right here, lower 60s into around the Memphis metro area. A little cooler into the rest of the Mid-South tomorrow morning. Could be some lower 50s out there, so something to think about if you're going to be heading out to the bus stop early on, and especially with those winds out there at about 10 to 15 miles per hour overnight. The bus stop for those kids, especially wearing these short sleeve shirts are going to be a little bit on the chilly side out there so definitely want to make certain that everybody is properly dressed before they head on out. Temperatures for the rest of the day tomorrow, bottom portion of your screen here, mid to upper 70s for high temperatures tomorrow, pushing 80 degrees, more clouds on the way and more chances of showers and thunderstorms into the mid-south as we go toward rush hour home tomorrow night. We'll talk more about that coming up in just a little bit. Other questions, concerns, ideas like that, right here, your website you want to go to, W wreg.com slash weather and over that direction again looking at the screen that's where you see all of the different social media accounts that we have out there if you've got ideas about what we can feature please email me at austin.onic at wreg.com if you'd like to again drop your comment section quotes into there if you have weather conditions out there if it's partly cloudy mostly clear if you've got a thermometer outdoors let us know what the temperature is please let us know what's going on in and around your area just drop them into the comment section and we'll feature them on News Channel 3 once we get them. And we'll also talk a little bit more about the forecast going on throughout the rest of the afternoon and evening into tomorrow, which will include, again, the possibility of some stronger storms to our southwest. Not much going on here. Likewise, not much going on here where earthquakes are concerned. Did not manage to pick up too much of anything uh, in and around the Mid-South area, according to the Center for Earthquake Research and Information and the United States Geological Survey. No earthquakes on the New Madrid fault line over the course of about the last 24 hours or so. A lot of activity going on back into Oklahoma, as has been unabated for quite some time, and also decently quiet back toward the San Andreas Fault, but not much of anything to report here. Rest of the evening, the red bar that you see on the screen there, if you're watching on Periscope and Twitter, thanks for joining us. We'll be seeing again those winds out of the south, and those will be a little bit on the breezy side throughout the course of the rest of the evening. So we're not going to be seeing too much of anything in the way of very quiet conditions out there where winds are concerned. Now the temperatures will continue to kind of slide downwards by just a little bit. We'll be back into the mid to upper 60s by the time we finish up News Channel 3 at 10. By the way, we will be on a little bit late tonight. Uh, Sherlock, the elementary uh, TV series, has been preempted tonight. The Masters and the golf tournament went a little bit long, so we'll be just a little bit uh, late this evening, but unfortunately, for those of you who are watching for tonight, elementary had to be preempted, so that will not be on tonight. Rest of the evening, again, let me get rid of that arrow right there so you can see a little clearer. Temperatures will remain fairly mild, a little cooler toward tomorrow morning, but we'll also see, again, the possibility of some breezy winds right up to and including News Channel 3 daybreak. It will also see, again, little, if anything, the way of rainfall is just way too dry out there for the evening hours. Let me move this up so everybody can see a little bit more about what's going on across the Mid-South so we get everybody included. Temperatures by News Channel 3 at 10 into the upper 60s to around the lower 70s, dropping into around the lower 50s in some parts of the area by the time we hit daybreak tomorrow, and noticing also that we have, again, a decent amount of cloud cover back toward the west of us, and anything to the west of the Mid-South tomorrow, we'll see the cloud cover first and foremost. We'll be looking for more chances of rainfall the farther we go into tomorrow afternoon and evening. The forecast bar down here at the bottom of your screen does not say anything uh, in the way of thunderstorms. We're expecting most of the activity to be moving its way into the Mid-South, crossing the Mississippi River by the time we go to around the area close to uh, commute time tomorrow afternoon and evening. Welcome to everybody who's tuning in on Twitter and Periscope for tonight. And if you're just dropping in, uh, feel free to share our netcast. And also, don't forget to make certain that you uh, uh, drop your weather conditions into the comments section as well. Let us know what's going on in your area. We'd love to know whether it comes to partly cloudy skies. If you're in the Mid-South, great. If you're outside of the Mid-South, let us know a little bit more about what you're seeing out there. We had people tonight uh, from the United Kingdom, Australia, Omaha, Nebraska, all kinds of other places out there, so please feel free to drop by. Now, by dinner time tomorrow night, this is where we see, again, the possibility of showers and thunderstorms taking place just back to our west. Looks like some showers, of 
according to at least this computer model, are going to be showing the possibility of maybe some development into around the dinner time hours. Excuse me, my monitor is starting to do some funky things here. Let me get that back and so you can see a little bit more about what's going on. There we go. Showers and maybe some thunderstorms taking place right into the Mississippi River Valley by about News Channel 3 at 10 into tomorrow evening so again severe weather doesn't look to be a major concern but if anything does happen stay tuned to news channel 3 and we will let you know a little bit more about what's going on across much of the mid-south area rest of the seven to ten day forecast well seven day forecast anyway we'll save the ten day forecast for news channel 3 at 10 the increase in clouds throughout the day tomorrow chances of showers and thunderstorms minimal but still possible as we get into around dinner time tomorrow evening and highs back in the mid to upper 70s showers and thunderstorms pretty widespread across much of the area as we go toward around the area of Tuesday. So outdoor activities may need an indoor plan B. Likewise, throughout the rest of the next several days, if you have any plans for outdoors, it doesn't look entirely terrible, but there will be these chances of showers and thunderstorms out across the Mid-South as we get into the next several days, mostly in the afternoon, could be a few in the late morning hours, but most of what we're going to be looking for is going to be uh, that possibility of scattered showers and thunderstorms. Now remember, again, keeping the plans for outdoor stuff going on, that's fine. But when you start seeing this type of stuff lighting up the sky or when you start hearing anything in the way of thunder, that's the time to pack it up and get indoors. Not after recess is over, not when the swimming lesson is finished up, not when your golf game is over with. If you see lightning or hear thunder, now is the time to take action. And that right there could save your life. That is part of what the National Weather Service has for its Lightning Safety Awareness Week. When thunder roars, go indoors. Maybe it sounds like a terribly silly catchphrase to you, but it's a nice reminder for a lot of people that when you see stuff like that getting close to you, you want to make certain you get out of where you are, where there's lightning, and back indoors to a sturdy structure, uh, if at all possible. Just something to think about on that. Remember that uh, display live netcasting that's what happens from time to time remember that if you have a lightning strike say like here around this microphone lightning can strike 30 miles away from the parent thunderstorm so that's why they always say wait 30 minutes for that storm to move a particular diameter of distance away so that you can no longer be struck by that particular cell or give that cell time to collapse and make its way out of the area so once again consider that above everything else let's use common sense and safety throughout what's left of spring and right on into summertime just to be on the safe side, again, let's all be careful out there throughout the rest of the next several days as more thunderstorms are possible out there. More of my forecast available throughout what's left of the weekend on Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3. That's on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network. And, of course, don't forget about my various social media networks that are all available out there. Facebook, Twitter, Google+, WordPress, YouTube, Tumblr, Instagram, uh, SoundCloud, Periscope, which you're watching right now, and hopefully sharing stuff on so everybody can see what's going on out there, and also on Game Boy as soon as I figure out how to get that taken care of. We'll have more details on the forecast again a little bit late on News Channel 3 at 10 tonight, just by a few minutes, so stick around for the details on the complete 7 to 10 day forecast coming up later tonight on News Channel 3 at 10, and don't forget News Channel 3's weather expert Todd Demers has your complete forecast coming up bright and early on News Channel 3. Michael Bryant and Game Boy, yeah, I'm trying to get that taken care of, but so far it hasn't really worked too well. One of these days I will get that with the engineer's help here at News Channel 3 back in the back, but it's obviously going to take a little bit more expertise than what I have. My grandfather was an electrician. I don't have that talent, but uh, we'll see what we can make do out of that. Also, again, throughout the rest of the week, keep it tuned here and also to my social media networks for more details on your complete forecast. Live and direct from downtown Memphis on Periscope, Twitter, YouTube, and Google+. Plus. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. More coming up tonight at 10 and also throughout the rest of the week on air and online on News Channel 3. Thanks for joining me for a complete update on Periscope and more details again tonight coming up, so stay tuned to News Channel 3 for all your weather needs in the Mid-South.